student can basically start research from they day one. Burning desire to know the answer. The union to this has focused on looking at star formation rates the in other galaxies. Day that said it was the best summer of his life. They will help you 100 million times over. My project is titled Pilot Study for Creating a Child Speech Database. The overall goal is how child speech develops. It's really like computer science, bioengineering, and then neuroscience and electrical engineering. It's very interdisciplinary, which Union actually is very big on. We have students from the arts and humanities doing research, the social sciences, and the sciences and engineering. And we also have students that start a project, say as a sophomore scholars project, or as a practicum research project, carry that on to junior year, and then continue on the same project for a senior thesis. I did a term abroad at Kansai Gaidai University last year in Japan. It wasn't as apparent to me at that time, but when I was thinking of a topic to research, I knew I could actively compare an ancient myth from Japan to an ancient myth in Greece. One day I was talking to my organic professor, Professor Joanna Kalbach, and I told her about this research that I did in high school and how I, I was interested in like this whole herbal or ancient medication and uh, modern medication and see if herbal medication really did work and she was just really into it. So I've worked with him on my sophomore scholars project in a more formal setting, but being in the summer with him every day, I'm the only student that's with him. Well, it's very exciting for students and it's exciting for faculty members as well because the student gets to really decide what she or he is really interested in and produce something that is there, something that they've written, they've done the work on, they feel very proud at the end. And we're proud of them. The faculty is very supporting and that's one of the reasons why I really love Union. <laughs> For my research, I worked in the Phaser Lab, which is a lab specifically designed to incorporate music and electrical engineering, and so it's soundproof, it's designed by like the same people who designed Carnegie Hall, and it's like very top of the line. Students get to do research on the most up-to-date, state-of-the-art equipment. We've been very successful at getting grants to buy equipment every year, and students get to use it compared with larger institutions where the newest equipment is reserved for graduate students. The Steinmetz Symposium is pretty impressive, right? Where the whole campus right, is devoted to a student research presentation. Right? That's pretty unusual to have that level of involvement. Both faculty and students the spirit of research is actually quite unusually strong here. I had a, a terrific student who did an autobiographical essay as an independent study, and she presented that in Steinmetz. It was about her father and his love for Bruce Springsteen. It was very, very good. One student a couple years ago, I was particularly excited for him because he wrote a senior thesis in um, political science. What does American democracy mean that actually won the national prize for student research. Doing research at Union has given me the opportunity to uh, travel to several different observatories. I've gotten to go to Air Cebo Observatory in Puerto Rico a couple times and I've also had the opportunity to go to Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona to actually gather images that I'll be working with uh, for the rest of this year. Students who do research uh, do have a, a big advantage. Whether you're applying to grad school or whether you are applying for a job, is that what makes you float to the top? And then you say, ah, oh, I worked in this lab and I worked on this project. So it's like, oh, well, that's actually pretty good because that's kind of what you need to do for this job or to be part of my lab as a PhD student.